Boom! Sub drumheads. I changed the lighting in here a little bit. Been watching some Peter McKinnon videos. Speaking of art, where is it? Check it out, yo. I drew this with pencils. You don't believe me? Well, I time lapse the whole thing and you're gonna watch it. Also, if you want this, stick around, watch the whole video till the end, and find out how you can win this drawing. This original drawing will be sent to you. So, without further ado, here's my drawing video, my drum drawing video. I guess maybe I can do some like commentary or something over this video while it's going on maybe? Or am I supposed to play some music? Would you rather have some music? Like some elevator music? That's nice. We'll keep that in the background. I chose to draw this picture for a few reasons. One, I didn't want to draw like a typical drum set photo or something, you know? I don't know how many people draw drum sets, but you know, I don't want like a straight picture of a snare drum. I feel like that'd be kind of boring, you know? So, I zoomed in real close and I thought, okay, well maybe I'll just try and focus on like a tension rod or something. So, I zoomed in as far as my camera would let me in. Focused right on the tension rod and kind of took the picture and thought, well, that's pretty cool. And I've never really drawn anything metallic. So the thing is when you're drawing like something that's chrome, you're basically drawing the reflection of what's around the object. You're not drawing the actual thing, you're drawing like the surrounding objects, you know, the mirror of what's on that chrome object. And that's something I've never done before. And I wanted to do this with graphite pencils, so it was gonna be just black and white. The photo is gonna be black and white. That way, you're only working with like two variables. It's either shadows or it's either a highlight, you know? So you're either filling in a place where it's dark or you're not filling in a place where there's light, you know? And so I just kept on going and, and just thought, okay, if I can fill in the little pieces and make it look as close to the actual picture as I can, then, you know, maybe it'll turn out okay. So that's, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to make this thing look okay. <laughs> Not bad. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. You wanna know how to win the drawing? I don't like to get political on my YouTube channel, but this is bigger than that. If you've seen the news, then you know what's happening right now in the United States. I'd be part of the problem if I didn't use my audience of 67,000 people on YouTube to say something to. So I guess this is my way of just trying to help and encouraging you guys to help as well. So what I need you to do to win this drawing is donate at least $3 to any of the charities or organizations that I've listed below. $3 gets you one raffle entry. Once you've donated to the organization, take a screenshot with a little timestamp, that way I can see you know, when, when the donation was made, and then send it to me on my Instagram DMs, and that's it. At the end of the day, it's not about the drawing. It's not about knowing what's going on, or like feeling sorry, it's about getting you guys to not just talk about it, but to do something about it. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Do your part. Figure out what you can do to help. Let's just try to make the world a more peaceful place. <laughs>